Hello community, I hope you are doing good. In this discussion, we will see how to create records using the XML file or the CSV file. And in case you missed previous discussion about how to modify user environment, please check link is given in the description. If you want to learn more about Odoo, you can visit the WebLearns channel. Under the home screen, you can see Odoo development tutorial and right now we are working on this playlist. If you are a beginner and want to learn from the beginning, you can visit this playlist and those are the topic wise sub playlist available. All right, guys, if you didn't subscribe this channel, please subscribe. It will provide you the latest notification about the upcoming sessions and it will also help me a lot. So let's back to our main topic. And guys, this is the introduction part about how to create records using the two different files. All right, so let's talk about the XML file. If you already refer our playlist from the beginnings, I have created a lot of record. Let's say the list view, form view, windows action, server action, menus, as well as the real data right here using the XML file. So over there we have to follow the XML structure, right? So XML structure follows with the tags, the parent tag and the child tag. Okay. So in the parent tag and the child tags having the some extra attributes we have to mention. So those attributes we have to follow. And let's say by chance, if you use the wrong attribute name or the tag name, right? And while parsing that XML file, on that time it will throw the exception. So here we need to carefully add content into the XML file. So first thing is, let's say the file name should be any of the file name plus the extension should be the .xml, okay? And then after we have to create the records using the parent and the child tags. Here I have mentioned some very useful attributes, ref, eval, type and base64. What it is we will see in our upcoming session, but you can see using those attributes, we can do a lot of things. The basic attributes I didn't mention, such as the ID, model, right? Then after the name. So those are the basic one. You already, I guess, know, but uh, I didn't mention those one because we are using regular basis. So in our upcoming session, you already know what it is and uh, how we can use those attributes. So this is all about the XML file, okay? Let's talk about the example. So here I have created one single example, one single record, okay? So you can see this is the XML structure we have to follow. So the record tag we must have to mention. Under the record tag we have to mention the child tags, which is the field, right? You can see here the parent child tags we have to create. After that, you, if you see all the tags having the some attributes, so attribute means you can see here ID, then after model and the name, and you can also see REF, right? In this example, I have used four different attributes in each different tag. So what it is, that part we can not discuss here, but this is the simple syntax. You can see here and based on this, we can create a new record, okay? So like this way, we have to follow one record. Let's assume you want to create a 100 record. So 100 times you have to mention something like this one. So this is the very basic syntax about the XML file. Okay, I hope you understood about the XML concept. Let's talk about the CSV file. So whenever you try to create a CSV file, okay, in this case, you have to mention the file name and the extension should be the .csv. In the XML file, it's something different compared to the XML because the file name must be the model name. Let's say, in our previous, we already know, okay, this is the res.partner record, right? Because you can see the first record is a tag. You can see the last attribute I have mentioned as a model, right? So which model I'm using? So res.partner. But in the XML file, we have to mention file name as a model name. And then after extension as a .csv, that's it. And then after Odoo automatically import the data. Now, the first row always the header of the records okay so what is inside the first row it's a colon name basically so here you can see we have mentioned the child tag as a field right you can see the name attribute here all this name attribute so those are the values is the field name right so here we have to mention field name as a comma separate from the second record right we have to mention the values the values is the actual record we are trying to create so let's see the example 
here you can see this is the CSV file example. Here the first row you can see this is the field name okay with comma separated value. Now here you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Total 7 records I have created here with different data right because you can see the ID is also unique right the name is also unique you can see the prefix is the same but you can see at a last you can see I have mentioned the different sequence wise name right then after all I have mentioned the same address here but CD is the different cities all right so like this way we have to create records using the CSV file like this so that's it guys I hope you understood about the very basic information about how we can create records using the XML file and the CSV file and what is the main difference, right? Now in our upcoming session, I'm going to show you how to create records in the XML file and then after we will move into the CSV file, all right? So if you still have any doubt related this topic only, please comment below and see you in our next session.